event. Big game of the weekend, Dragons at Millennium Stadium. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I really can't wait to, to get up to the Millennium Stadium on Sunday. Um, it's a massive game for us. We, we need another win and off the back of a decent performance against Leinster, so it's something we need to back up that type of performance and, and get the victory. What do last weekend's results mean for us? Obviously a big win against Leinster for us. Disappointment with the way that Munster managed to go to Glasgow and get a big win themselves, but are we still in the hunt? Yeah, we're definitely still in the hunt. We've just got to keep up the pressure on other teams and some tough fixtures to come out. You've got Ulster playing Glasgow this weekend. Glasgow's still got to go to Treviso. And then you've even got Ulster have got to go play Leinster, Munster and Glasgow in the last three. So we're still, I think we're still in the hunt, but we've got to look after our own performance and make sure we get three victories. Is that probably the most frustrating thing at this time of the year, the games where wins have gone begging perhaps and we could have been controlling our own destiny? Yeah, I think so. I think we've probably a couple of wins where we would would have liked to have been. I think the Edinburgh performance up there and then just leaving a couple of games slip probably the early part of the season. But it's something we are where we are and there's been a lot of good performances from the young young guys and I think there was a slight turn of the corner in 19 all against like the um, European Giants and Leinster and how we finished the game off is a real positive for us going forward. And, how many young guys have played for us this season? That is one thing to remember when we're looking at results this season and looking at the future is that the average age of the team has dropped, but we've really kept going. And with a young team to beat such a team as Leinster the way we did is a massive boost for the future. Oh, yeah, it's huge. It's exciting for us going forward. And obviously, we'll bring in a couple of sign ins and things, which is great for us. We've already made one or two. And then just the young kids coming through. We've had Nicky Smith, Scott Orton, Dan Baker, Sam Davis just the name but a few coming through this year which is really exciting for us and, and we've had sterling performances from Sam Lewis, James King, you look at last weekend Sam Lewis and, and Tyler weren't involved in a back row so we're starting to get a little bit of a thicker squad going forward. And that group of boys are going to deliver each of the next three games now to make sure that we're still in the mix at the end of the season? 100% and it's something that's real excitement around the group at the minute, there's, there's a good vibe in around it and like we know we need one or two favours from other teams but it's something we've got to be in the position if someone slips up we're ready to pounce. Yeah.